So the reports of what the Prophet is reported to have said or, or did. Uh, but the Sirah is like a more of a biography. So it's more comparable to like the Gospels. Sure. And was, um, do we know what religion um, denomination was he? Was he a monotheist Christian? Oh, okay. That's a good question. I, I don't know. That's interesting. Because yeah. I'm trying to research more about it. Yeah, I find yeah. It really interesting. Is there not like a Wikipedia article on Waraka bin Yeah, but it's not very, and obviously I don't speak Arabic, so it's not oh, okay. very detailed. It doesn't tell you much. Oh, okay. You did check it. I just checked that. That's how I found out. Oh, okay. I was surfing through Wikipedia and I found his yeah, name. Yeah, and also. It's got quite a long name, though. It's like Waraka ibn. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering again, without I'm not trying to offend. I'm wondering if he had an influence on Islam. Because if he says that yeah. he agreed that it's something that's good, what happened? Did he mentor, mentor um, Muhammad in some way? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to imply that. No, I don't no. know. I'm just saying. Um, I'm wondering if that's possible. I don't yeah. Know. So let's see his um, date of death, like when he yeah. when he died. He was um, Lebanese, wasn't he? This what what the man? Or it wasn't, um, so, it wasn't in Arabia. To my knowledge. Mm, okay, yeah, let, let's see. Um, so I mentioned he died in 610. Yeah. So that's the same year in which the Prophet received this experience in the cave of Hera. So it was near his death that he told him, he told Muhammad that this... Um, well, he, well, he died in the same year in okay. which um, the Prophet and told him about his experience um, in the cave of Hera. Um, so yeah, he was cousin of Khadija. He was the wife of the Prophet. And he was from the tribe of Quraysh. I don't know where that... Oh, right, so he was an Arab, like proper Arab. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so he's considered to be a Hanif. I don't know what... Uh, so those were people before Islam to, who were not like their pagans or the idol worshippers. Okay. Uh, but they believed in one God, but they didn't have any organised okay. religion. So, because um, I've heard, and it may be incorrect, but what it said, so many Muslims say that before Islam come, it, it was purely pagan, the land was purely pagan. G generally, yeah, the society was pagan. That feels like a bit of a contradiction to me, but I, I don't no, know. No, most people were, were pagan, or they were either Jews or Christians. There were some pockets of Jews and Christians yes. in Mecca. Um, but they were, like a majority. Uh, yeah, yeah, so majority were pagans. But you also had individuals um, that didn't practice the, 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 the practices of the pagans. And they were known as Hanif. So Hanif just means... It's a, re a, a rejectory term that's used on those people. I mean, they didn't call themselves Hanif, but it's just something that's used rejectory. Well, I don't to know refer to, is it like a yeah. negative term, positive no. or just a descriptive? Um, yeah, descriptive in the sense of um, they believed in God. But they but weren't they, sure what that was. Yeah, they, 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 they weren't pagan, so they, they didn't worship the idols, but they, they believed in God, but they had their own private religion or private belief. But again, this is from different traditions, so I don't know, no, we don't know for sure about this. But from what I understand, it is, it is written somewhere that Waraka was a Christian of sorts. I, I believe mean, so, yeah. I mean, the, the reason why he may be understood to be a Christian is because he was very knowledgeable when it came to the, the Christian scriptures. So he knew how to read them. And so when the Prophet told his experience, he said that the description is mentioned in what he's read or something to this effect. Um, so he wasn't certain he's a Christian, but he seemed to believe in the Bible. Seems like it, yeah. Or, or having some authority. But he died in the same year that the Prophet, you know, received his first call. Okay, that's interesting. Because um, I, I just wonder. Um, cause I, I'm a, I'm a Christian, so oh, are you? Okay. I don't, I, I'm not here to argue, it's to learn. Yeah, yeah, but me if, too. Yeah. If, there is, if there is a distinction, I won't pretend that, oh, it's okay, I'll try to bring it up just so that I can understand. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how does that lay with, um, and I understand, they say the Bible's corrupted, but if this Warwicker was reading from a Bible that, that was reliable at that time, this is a guess, we know that we've got Bibles from around that period onwards that are still the same today. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't give consent to be filmed. Yeah. I don't want to be filmed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
yeah, if we, um, I don't, I just have my back yeah. against it. Um, the, um, you know, when it comes to, it doesn't matter if I hear it, but I don't really want. That. Yeah, you don't want your face here. Um, you know, when it comes to the gospels, um, like different Christians had different understandings of what the gospel yeah, was. So th those those Christians who had their gospel, they would see other gospels are being corrupt. So it's like nowadays, um, like you have different denominations yeah, and churches. Of I, I can understand that. Um, yeah. So the, the different churches, they have their own Bible. Uh, yeah, it's true. So well, they would regard other Bibles that disagree with their translation or that, um, as being corrupt. Because so. I think they have a poor body, but you're right. There was the old church that had an extra book here and there, which was, which it's true, they tried to change it. Yeah, body. so it's like even like with Catholics, yeah, exactly. they have the Old Testament, yeah. which Protestants don't fully accept. Yeah, yeah. So they will see those additional books as I guess they may not put it in these words, but as corrupt as corruption to the Old Testament or something like this. Uh, but when it comes to references to the Prophet Muhammad, um, there's different like hermeneutics that are used to read the old Bible, in particular the Old Testament. There's something known as typology. Um, so typology is like an event or a figure that's mentioned in the Old Testament that kind of um, alludes to something in the future. So it has like a double kind of meaning. So um, in the book of Isaiah, in chapter 29, verse 12, um, it speaks of um, a being delivered or given to one who cannot read. Oh, okay. Isaiah, uh, what, so uh, ch chapter 29, verse 12. Um, I'm going to have to go in about three minutes. No, it's strange. okay. I've been here for a long time. Yeah, in about two minutes, actually. Do you often come to Speaker's Corner? No, sadly. I don't get enough time. I I'm here every Sunday, so... Um, Isaiah. 20. Uh, chapter 29, verse 12. Because I, I like it a lot. I'm interested in history and how things. Yeah, I hate to yeah. use the word because I don't believe it's evolved. Okay. Yeah. I believe yeah. in evolution. Isaiah 29, verse 12. Um, I have it right here from the King James. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay. And the book is delivered to ah, him. That okay, I've never mean. seen this um, Islamic interpretation of that. That's interesting. Yeah. So, from the context, I think it's about something else. Yeah. Uh, like but using the picture. principle of, yeah. yeah. So it's possible maybe Waraka saw something like this in the Bible, because if you read um, the story of Muhammad about his initial first call, happens to be in the cave, yeah. um, and the angel Gabriel appears to him yeah, yeah. and says to him, read, and he says, I, yeah. Okay, I'm glad you brought that. That's interesting for me to go away and research. Oh, okay. Oh, there's my alarm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a YouTube, um, there's a movie about the life of the, a Hollywood movie, movie I about know. the uh, I, I, it's called the message it. uh, okay. and apparently it's done quite well isn't it because okay. they don't show him so they, yeah, they've done yeah. it quite well from, from what, it has film. Quinton Smith is it uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, quite a long time for us born, yeah yeah so. okay yeah <laughs> yeah too long, oh, it was in the 70s yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Time, I, 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 I'm in the I'm born in the 80s I was born in the 80s yeah, as well, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, well thanks well, for okay. that information no worries yeah because yeah. um, I want to try and learn more about this Warwickshire because it's just intriguing how the handoff you could say from Christianity to to Islam, how that, uh, okay. how that took place. So I'm very interested in that period. But you know there was an early Christian sect known as, um, I forgot the name of the sect, but the founder was called Mat Mat Matanis. The problem is a lot of these oh, sects, okay. uh, don't, obviously they're not following the Bible. If you're following oh, someone, see. if you're following a per an individual, it gets a bit tricky. So he believed he was the paraclete that was prophesied oh. in John's Gospel. Okay. So he had followers. So it's like a fake Christian? Um, it, well, they don't call themselves fake. No, no, of course. Uh, but what I, I mean and is they died out as well. It would be considered... Uh, yeah, by, yeah, 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 by the mainstream, yeah. yeah because um, so, I know that there's certain um, Jewish and even Islamic sects that claim that they have a messiah and or things. something like that, yeah. Right, thanks uh, very much for your time. Anyway, it was